In 2005, Texas created the Competitive Renewable Energy Zone process to beef up the Lone Star State's electric grid and increase wind generation capacity to more than 18 gigawatts. As part of the so-called CRES process, the Public Utility Commission of Texas defined five zones in remote parts of North and West Texas with ideal conditions for developing wind power facilities. The Public Utility Commission then chose transmission service providers to develop a network to move electricity from areas of abundant supply in West Texas and the Panhandle to areas of heavy demand, such as Austin, Dallas-Fort Worth, and San Antonio. When complete by the end of 2013, this network will span 2,400 miles of new transmission lines and 1,200 miles of upgraded lines. Two transmission service providers, the Lower Colorado River Authority and Cross Texas Transmission, hired SWCA environmental consultants to help their projects comply with environmental regulations. SWCA's Austin office handled Clean Water Act compliance, floodplain analyses, and jurisdictional waters delineations for Cross Texas Transmission. Other services included GIS management, construction support and environmental monitoring, and regulatory agency coordination. The team also analyzed impacts on aquatic resources for the Lower Colorado River Authority. An environmental assessment covered visual impacts, air and water quality, land use, climate change, and many other factors. The Texas Hill Country presented rough terrain for SWCA's scientists and mapping experts who surveyed for natural, historic, and archaeological resources. The team had to work in rugged, remote locations with sometimes difficult land access. Helicopter survey video was used to identify potential project constraints such as those encountered in the Texas Caprock Canyon lands an area home to the state-threatened Texas kangaroo rat. Aerial survey video also helped identify riparian areas and other aquatic resources to site around. Long spans of riparian habitat, like that found at the Prairie Dog Town Fork Red River, are an example of unique construction constraints faced by transmission service providers. Helicopter surveys also identified habitat for the lesser prairie chicken, a candidate species for listing under the Endangered Species Act. Other endangered species requiring a habitat conservation plan include the black-capped vireo and the golden-cheeked warbler, both of which inhabit the regions of Texas traversed by the Lower Colorado River Authority's transmission routes. SWCA biologists also found the Texas horned lizard, a state special status species, and endangered plants like the towbush fishhook cactus, not much bigger than a penny. The SWCA team analyzed 3D viewshed models, considering tree canopy and topography, to estimate the visual impact that CREZ transmission lines would have on buildings and large ranches deemed eligible for the National Register of Historic Places. Thanks to thoroughly prepared work plans, sound science, and creative solutions, SWCA's project managers and field leads were able to meet the expedited time frames of the CREZ projects. SWCA's Austin team has been praised for their on-the-fly readiness to address spontaneous project needs. The Texas CREZ process is a successful model for wind energy development that is spreading across the nation and proving that projects of this scale are possible in years, not in decades.